Oi, I'm Louis Jessup, and it's time to start the truck, the truck swap. So this is a 1980 F-250 four-wheel drive. It's a straight six. It's manual. It's a four-speed. It's on 33s, and uh, I'm not in love with this body. It's missing trim, and uh, I don't like the solid color of it. It's a little beat up. So I'm going to be swapping it for... The 82 over here. The 82 is in good shape, but the inside is crap. Uh, it has also a 300 four speed manual, two wheel drive. So we're going to be combining both of them to make one awesome truck. But the problem is, the awesome frame has the rotten body on it. I'm going to part out this truck. I had good luck parting out the red F 150. That's all that's left now, and it's made really good money. So I'm going to do the same to this one, but keeping the drivetrain. So everything from the frame above is going away. Wish me luck. I paid 1400 bucks for this truck. Let's see if we can get it back. First piece gone. I sold the tailgate for 75 bucks. Uh, it was pretty rough. The latches didn't work and it was rusted. So 75 bucks positive. Man, it's been ages since people wanted parts. I don't know what happened. Maybe tax money ran out, who knows? Or just people don't buy full nose parts, so. Only sold a tailgate, and the last time you saw it, there were no leaves. But I've also been super busy. I haven't really been trying to sell it. Um, I did just take my final final today, so hopefully I pass and I graduate. Woo! That'll be fun. Um, but someone is interested in the cab, driver door, and front bumper. Hey, driver. So I've got a lot of stripping to do this week. We can get this thing down to a bare frame. Uh, first thing I'm gonna take off today, front clip. Get that all gone. Then the bed's gotta go. And cab. We're gonna keep all the wiring and stuff because the wiring on MacGyver's truck is shot. But first, I'm gonna get these things off. So this hood is not the best. It's uh, rusty and got dents in it. So let's cut it. But the motor, she looks pretty good. Other than, you know, water lines and stuff rusty. But it spins over. Got a brand new carburetor on it. It's been all cleaned up. Uh, let's get this stripping. Oh, good lord. Okay, this is bad. Let's see if I don't break the windshield on this one. Rock it down. Yeah. Alrighty. Off she comes. Mm, heavy hood. <laughs> I'm using bags with fancy labeling on them to make sure everything is kept track of. So nice. I hate rusty bolts. Now, you may wonder why I'm not pulling the whole uh, front end at once. This core support is just absolutely wrecked. So, uh, she's going to scrap. And the fenders are good. So, keeping the fenders. Ah, got it. That filler panel is absolute junk. So, with the torch, I was able to get this body mount rolled. Uh, broken free which is surprising because there's a body lift on it normally those are super seized that's course course absolutely shot just absolutely gone so this side is still bolted but uh now it's not i'm gonna say we're going to cut that one but look Just the cab and bed now. Nice. Getting there. 
So now I'm ready to start pulling all the wires and stuff from the cab. But I don't want to work in the grass anymore. I want to work in the driveway. Time to break out the big guns. Perfect. Look how tall this thing was. It's pretty tall. I mean, it'll still be tall with, without the body lift, but uh, dang. She's up there. A mess. There's a Pepsi can that fell out the fender from somewhere. How old are you? 2021, so not that old. So it is another day. We are pulling apart the interior of the truck to get the cab ready to pull. Update, I passed my class, I graduate tomorrow. Woo! Let's pull out this interior. So one really cool thing about this truck is it's got this factory clock in it that I've never seen. Got date, uh, ET, I don't know, time, reset, it's pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if it works, but we're gonna throw it in the, the new truck. And this is a dual tank truck, so it's got the switch. Uh, we're going to pull out this entire dash, the seat, all the trim, even these because they're nice. It's got full wheel drive on it, so getting all of this. Interior disassembly is coming along pretty good. Getting the steering all buttoned up. Shoot. I finally got all the wiring disconnected and the dash pulled back. So now we're going to attempt to take the dash and wiring and come out as one piece. Back at it. So that's what I've been up to today. It's just getting all of that. Everything's labeled where it should go. Hopefully. I've got the cab all stripped out on the inside now and there's just four bolts that hold it in to the actual frame I'll have to pull the shifters out but everything that attaches to the cab wires brake parking brake all that is off got the brake booster up here just dangling and everything is free up on the forward end so now tomorrow I'm gonna turn my attention to the bed so you see, I've got a lot of stuff back here. I've got to go through it and see what's all here, sort it out and organize it. Then I can pull the bed off, pull the cab off, and just get the drivetrain out of this thing and clean up the frame. So yesterday before graduation, I did a lot of organizing. Gotten the bed emptied. I uh, removed two and a half bolts. They're carriage bolts, so they're you can't really grind the head off because the square piece won't go through the frame. So we gotta take them out. Luckily they aren't that old, but for the rest of them, I'm just gonna use Sawzall because it's a pain. So Sawzall, cut through the body lift, trash it all, get this thing off. Um, I've also started loosening the cab. Uh, all these bolts are really rusty, so we might be able to get them. There's a wasp. Yep, this is much easier. I've got the bed all unbolted and uh, she's ready to go. Got my little dolly ready. Utilizing the same method I use for the bed, got the cab mounts off as well. I'm gonna get these shifters out and we'll take the tractor and lift this off. So I got my ground man stabilizing. The tractor is all rigged up, various straps and such. We're gonna hoist this thing up.
made a hole, but this is already busted. So that's fun. I took the leaf blower and blew it all off. Got all the small dirt and everything off. And while it's apart, I'm gonna replace the suspension, brakes. I'm gonna paint the frame, clean it up, place that rear gas tank, swap the axle, and just I'll probably end up pulling the motor and trans too. The trans I'm not worried about, but the motor I want to reseal it, repaint it, just make it pretty. It's because it's so much easier to work on stuff while it's all apart. And check this out. All these are just hand tight. Not even hand tight, they're just there. That's kind of sketchy. It has been a battle to remove the engine and trans. That joker is heavy. I knew I had to order a new hydraulic cylinder for the jack and one of my wheels blew out so that's no good but hey engine hoist is back up and working i paid 50 bucks for this in the engine stand like probably like 12 years ago so got my worth out of it and the, the ram was it wasn't that expensive 40 bucks but it worked again i used the mountaineer to get it on I, to get it out of the weather so it's sitting on the back of the mountaineer for right now um i think i can get the engine stand to work with longer bolts so i'll go get some longer bolts in the morning and that will be this video got the chassis all stripped down i wire brushed the frame got it all cleaned up and looking pretty good i do have some stuff i need to cut off of it before i can paint it like this pieces of i-beam back here uh, i don't know what they were for but they're not supposed to be there. Made it really hard to remove the rear tank. So I'll cut those off. Also, unfortunately, you know Facebook Marketplace. The guy said he was going to come, never came, and just ghosted me. So here's the cab. It's probably going to end up going to the scrap. Or might be using it to fix a dump truck over there. Who knows? Who knows? And, and if any of you guys know, if this shaft has too much play in it, let me know. I'm gonna check the two-wheel drive transmission when I pull it because I should you could be able to you should be able to unbolt the, the tail shaft and swap it out. So it, that's an option. I've got the motor tucked away back here for right now until we do the frame paint and I just want to double check it and go through it. You know it's it's suspended ish. And the frame paint did come in. We are using a rust um, we're using KBS rust seal. But this is, that's the it for this one. Um, she's all stripped, she's ready, ready to be fixed. In the next video, I'm gonna be doing bushings up front and rear. I need new leaf spring bush, oh I don't, I wanna put new leaf spring bushings on it while I have it all apart. New axle pivot bushings. And I wanna do new shackle bushings and leaf spring bushings as well. I'm also going to be doing a axle swap in the next video. This is a Dana 60. It's a semi-float axle, you can tell, because, you know, it's not floating. And back here, I have a Sterling 10 and a quarter full float axle. Um, it's heavier duty. It's got bigger brakes. It holds more weight. We're going to take, we're going to use this existing suspension and just swap everything over. And it should work great. I need to order new U-bolts, but while it's all apart, it'll be so much easier to do it. They're both 355 gearing. Should be fine. Um, we'll see how she does. We might have to step up the gearing in the future. Thanks for watching. Look forward to updates. It's going to be a little bit because all the bushings are super expensive. So, trying to sell some stuff and some in between jobs right now. But we'll be okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.